Hi, it's Katrina! Many of today's well-known animals were considered mythological until explorers witnessed them with their own eyes. Others were discovered to be real much more recently. From the legendary unicorn to the terrifying cyclops, here are 10 mythological creatures that turned out to be real. Number 10. The Sea Serpent the best place for the imagination to run wild is the ocean, and sea serpents are enormous creatures believed to attack ships and terrify sailors and fishermen around the world. In a way, sea serpents are closely related to dragons. In fact, they could be interpreted as sea dragons because people depicted them in almost the same way, except they were drawn in the ocean on maps. Much of the ocean was a mystery for thousands of years, and it still is in some ways, of course. But sea monsters help to explain mysterious sightings and strange occurrences while out at sea. People attributed every suspicious sighting to some fantastical creature, most likely mysterious and dangerous. And there is no better creature to scare you to death than a giant sea snake while you're in a tiny boat. Scientists now believe that all of those sightings reported by sailors were big sharks, giant squids, or some species of whales. But back in the day, sea serpents were the stuff of legend. Some fanatics even went so far as to collect different types of bones and join them together in sea serpent skeletons, exhibiting them as real evidence of the animal's existence. Who knows what Frankenstein monsters those were? They probably contained bones of dozens of different animals. Number 9. The Dragon Dragons appear in myths and legends from many cultures around the world. Of course, the giant, fire-breathing, flying beast doesn't exist, but why did so many people think that they did? The first legends recorded by the Greeks and Sumerians had to come from real creatures that made ancient people believe in the mythical beast. Imagine you lived in the past and went out for a walk and suddenly came across gigantic bones. Just like any other animal that has died, you would believe that animal still exists and might appear at any moment. For thousands of years, people came across giant dinosaur bones with big skulls and large teeth, claws, and strange features. So it seems logical to think that these giant beasts might still be around. The many different bones and skulls found of different dinosaurs would have influenced how people described them and varied from region to region. Another creature that could have inspired the dragon is the Komodo dragon. It is the planet's largest living lizard, growing up to 10 feet long and weighing as much as 330 pounds. For millions of years, the species has thrived among Indonesia's harsh climate and lesser Sunda Islands. It most likely evolved in Australia and spread westward toward its current home where temperatures regularly hit 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Some believe that the Komodo dragon is the inspiration behind dragon mythology the world over. Sailors passing through Indonesia would come home and share stories of a gigantic, fearsome dragon that could kill you with one bite. But Europeans, and therefore most of the Western world, didn't officially believe it was real until 1910. That year, a Dutch colonial official named Lieutenant Stein van Hensbroek led an expedition to Komodo Island, where he killed one of the giant lizards and brought it back as proof that the animal really existed. Until then, it was more or less regarded as a mythical being. Why do you think people are so fascinated by dragons? Or why do you think so many people thought they used to exist? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Number 8. The Hoax Creature While now a platypus might seem common or normal, during the late 18th century, the first platypus specimen was shipped from Australia to scientists in England. At first, the team of experts wondered if someone was playing a practical joke on them, even going so far as to suggest that skilled Chinese taxidermists had crafted the corpse. It naturally excites the idea of some deceptive preparation by artificial means, zoologist George Shaw wrote in the first formal scientific description of the animal in 1799. With the bill of a duck, the tail of a beaver, and the body of an otter, it certainly looks like a hodgepodge of familiar creatures. Even though scientists didn't discover that the platypus laid eggs until nearly 100 years later, that would have really blown their mind, they were already confused by its weird combination of characteristics. So of course they thought it was a hoax or a practical joke. I mean, wouldn't be the first time. 
Plus, they probably didn't know it was venomous either. One by one, the scientific community started accepting the platypus as a genuine creature. They began grappling with other questions, including how to classify it and whether it represented a missing evolutionary link between mammals and reptiles. The idea that the platypus specimen was a hoax reflects European notions of Eastern countries at the time, including the stereotype of the Chinese as being artfully deceptive. Moreover, although the platypus was new to the Europeans, Aboriginal Australian tribes had long known all about it, including that it lays eggs and that the males are venomous. I mean, of course, if you are around something a lot, it's common for you. But when it comes to the whole world knowing about it, especially in the 1800s, everything was a little muddled as to what was real and what wasn't. The world used to be a much more mysterious place. And now for number seven. But first, I wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone who has been watching and supporting this channel. Wanted to give a quick shout out to Kat Alde and Yer Arriaga. Thanks so much for your nice comments. Number seven, the African unicorn. Nicknamed the African Unicorn, the elusive and secluded Okapi only lives in the dense and remote Ituri rainforest in the Democratic Republic of Congo in Central Africa. It's most closely related to the giraffe, but resembles a mixture of zebra, deer, donkey, and antelope with a brown body and striped legs. Despite the Okapi's evasive nature, indigenous tribes of Central Africa have known about it for a long time. Europeans, on the other hand, believed that the seldom seen creature was purely fictional until 1901. For years, there were rumors that the fantastical unicorn was actually hiding in Africa. But that year, zoologist Sir Harry Johnston acquired an Okapi skeleton and sent it to the British Museum for classification, where it was identified as a newly discovered species. Studying the Okapi in its natural environment has been difficult, as they've made it clear that they prefer their solitary lifestyle by taking off at the slightest sign of nearby humans. It's probably good for their own safety. Number 6. The Griffin with the body of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle, the griffin is one of the most well-known animals of ancient Greek mythology. And it wasn't only found in Greek mythology, as there's evidence of griffin-like creatures in ancient Egypt, Persia, and many more. But the griffin wasn't only limited to stories. People actually thought it was real. According to ancient lore, the old Greeks reported that the Scythians, another ancient people, came across some griffins in the famous Gobi Desert. The Scythians were searching for gold, but found griffins instead. Since then, this animal has been associated with gold mines as the protector of gold and other precious metals. Needless to say, this was all pure fantasy. Why? Because while there is no further proof of the existence of griffins, there is a lot of evidence of dinosaur fossils in the Gobi Desert, exactly where the Scythians were digging for gold. The fossils are those of the Protoceratops, a creature on four legs, with a bird-like beak and wide shoulder blades easily mistaken for wings. In the ancient world, it would definitely seem like these creatures were real, and they better watch out, as live ones could appear at any moment. Number 5. The Mermaid There are three manatee species who belong to an order of mammals called Cyrenians and are the ocean's largest herbivores. Manatees inspired ages-old mermaid legends and tales spanning various cultures, as they've frequently been mistaken for the mythical beings throughout history. Christopher Columbus is one of many who saw manatees and thought they were looking at mermaids. During his first voyage to the Americas, he wrote in his journal about seeing three mermaids rise out of the sea and commented on their masculine facial features. Manatees look masculine, all right. Definitely not dainty, elegant creatures, although they are cute. Following his so-called discovery, European sideshows showcase deceased manatees, advertising them as recently discovered mermaids from the New World. The mistaken identity of manatees as mermaids perhaps stems from the manatee's tendency to do tail stands in shallow water and from its five finger-like appendages at the end of its fins. The dugong, a relative of the manatee and also a Cyrenian, has been the subject of Lady of the Sea folklore for centuries. A common theme of these stories, especially in the Pacific nation of Palau, is the transformation of young women into dugongs. Both manatees and dugongs are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List and may themselves be relegated to legendary status in the absence of adequate conservation efforts. Number 4. The Unicorn In 1577, English explorer Martin Frobisher and his crew happened upon a mysterious unicorn fish in the Arctic Ocean while searching the upper reaches of Canada for a shortcut to India. He took the dead animal's horn back to England and presented it to Queen Elizabeth, who stored it with the crown jewels. 
Before Frobisher's journey, these so-called unicorn horns circulated throughout Europe fairly regularly and were worth multiple times their weight in gold. The unicorn horn trade proliferated throughout the Middle Ages and Renaissance, courtesy of the Vikings, who acquired the goods in the North Atlantic and sold them for exorbitant sums without ever revealing their source. Pretty clever, huh? No one knew where the horns from the mythical creature came from, but they were real enough. During this time period, the unicorn was very sacred in both the secular and the religious. They symbolized Christianity, wisdom, lovers, marriage, the feminine, chastity, and divine power. The sea unicorn myth faded following Frobisher's discovery, and the animal was eventually identified as a type of whale called a narwhal. Its horn is actually an abnormally long tooth that acts as a sensory organ, enabling males to navigate their environment and find mates and food. Not as exciting as the unicorn theory, but still pretty neat in its own right. Number 3. Wild Humans People outside of Africa regarded gorillas as mythical beings until relatively recently for the most part. Various myths circulated about them throughout history, suggesting that they were seen as primitive humans, and some of these tales were based on eyewitness accounts. The Greek explorer Hanno is often credited with the first alleged sighting of a gorilla by a Westerner during the 5th century, although today's experts believe he may have witnessed chimpanzees or baboons rather than gorillas. English explorer Andrew Battelle explained that human-like monsters visited his fire in the morning, but much to his disapproval, they didn't know how to add wood to keep the fire going. That's an interesting reaction, don't you think? During the 16th century, the Portuguese captured an English sailor off the West African coast, who later described seeing giant, human-like apes. The first formal scientific description of the gorilla came in 1847, courtesy of physician and naturalist Thomas Savage, who collaborated with Harvard anatomist Jeffries Wyman in examining samples of the primate's bones from Liberia. Thomas Savage, that's a cool name for a naturalist. Even after the folklore surrounding gorillas was dispelled by proof that they actually exist, pop culture continued latching onto the image of them as fabled creatures. Movies, books, and video games like King Kong, Planet of the Apes, and Donkey Kong reflect the continuing idea of the gorilla as a fictional character, even after people knew otherwise. This doesn't mean that people are unaware that gorillas exist, rather they are simply more entertained by the storybook version of the animal. Number 2. The Kraken the giant squid is the suspected source of inspiration for various legendary sea monsters, including the six-headed Greek goddess named Scylla, the half-shark, half-octopus Bahamian creature called the Lusca, and most of all, the infamous Nordic Kraken. The Kraken was described as having large tentacles and lurking unnoticed in the surrounding deep, dark waters. An abundance of fish was considered a sign that one was nearby, scaring the fish to the surface. Sailors were cautioned that the Kraken would mercilessly abduct them into the depths of the sea and tear them to shreds. In 1857, Norwegian naturalist Japetus Steenstrup determined that the legendary kraken was indeed real. He described it as a giant squid and identified the animal based on body parts that washed up on the shore of Denmark and which were sent to him from the Bahamas. Scientists have been unraveling the mysteries surrounding the giant squid ever since and still know little about it to this day. Even after Steenstrup affixed a legitimate label to the creature, it continued appearing in popular folklore and stories, including the science fiction novel and movie 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Giant squids have only been captured on video twice, once in 2012 and for a second time this year. Slowly but surely, scientists are learning more about the secretive deep ocean dweller and its physical features, including its eight tentacles measuring up to 40 feet long each and equipped with suction cups, and the largest known eyes in the animal kingdom, which are roughly the size of dinner plates. Number 1. The Cyclops the one-eyed cyclops is among the most well-known mythological monsters of all time. Researchers believe that fossils with holes in their skulls may explain the historical and well-documented belief in the cyclops. Take, for instance, the Deinotherium giganteum. This distant predecessor of modern elephants was one of the largest mammals that ever existed, measuring up to 15 feet tall and with four and a half foot long tusks. Fossilized skulls of the animal found on the island of Crete show that it had an extremely large nasal opening. In modern terms, this means that the creature had a pronounced trunk, but to ancient societies, it may have suggested the existence of the cyclops. I mean, what else was supposed to go in that gaping hole? This theory meshes well with the idea that in the past, people used mythology to explain aspects of the world around them that they didn't quite understand. 
You'll never be able to test the idea in a scientific fashion, but the ancient Greeks were farmers and would certainly come across fossil bones like this and try to explain them, according to archaeologist Thomas Strasser, just like I said before with dragons and dinosaurs. With no concept of evolution, it makes sense that they would reconstruct them in their minds as giants, monsters, sphinxes, and so on. The ancient historian Homer described the Cyclops as an island-dwelling monster who captured and ate several of Odysseus's men. The surviving captives got the creature drunk, blinded him, and ultimately escaped. Thanks for watching! Please feel free to share any other real mythological creatures in the comments below, and let me know what other creatures you'd like to learn about. Remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you later! Bye!